I was having a Facebook conversation this morning and when I went across to my friend Tom Zuber, that's tomzuber.com, his website, to find some information that I wanted to share in the conversation, I came across this quote which he had there as his daily thought. It's a quote I first came across a year or so after Elijah had died and it's from Eckhart Tolle from his book The Power of Now. It says, do not resist the pain. Allow it to be there. Surrender to grief, despair, fear, loneliness or whatever form the suffering takes. Witness it without labelling it mentally. Embrace it. Then see how the miracle of surrender transmutes deep suffering into deep peace. This quote was a key for me at a time when mentally I really felt I was quite unstable. Difficulty with sleeping and eating and a whole series of things that I hadn't initially associated as being part of the grief and part of the mourning. Uh, the new reality of learning to live um, with the death of Elijah. It was in the midst of this that I discovered this quote. As I reflected on it, I thought, how can I possibly do that? How can I not resist the pain? For a year or so, uh, the, I felt I needed to be strong for myself, for my family, to provide some stability. Sure, there were moments when I felt overwhelmed. But this quotation was something that helped unlock things for me along with Tom's encouragement to create a safe and a sacred space, either either physically a chair to sit in or a place to be, so that when I felt those things, I could allow them to wash over me. I w could allow them to just allow myself just to experience those things and then to surrender to them. How, how, how could I surrender to that? I had to make a decision to do so. Okay, I'm going to surrender to these things in the hope that um, uh, having surrendered, I would get to a place of being, get to a place of peace. One of the places for me that was uh, really key was a seat in the Christchurch Cathedral, which has now been uh, destroyed as a result of the Christchurch earthquake. Where I would go, I didn't go to necessarily pray, I just went there to be taking that time each day just to experience, just to allow um, those emotions and those things to wash over me and to come. As I took the time to do that, peace did come. And I guess that's the miracle of surrender. And I guess that's why Eckhart calls it a miracle. It's something that we really don't have control over when we give over the control of, or, or rather we, we, we give over how we're feeling about those things, there is an ability for that peace to come. It's part of the transformation, part of that small ray of hope that might just be there. So let me encourage you, whatever you're going through, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you uh, experience those things, don't resist them. Embrace it. Make the decision to embrace it. With the hope that in your surrender, the miracle of that deep peace will come. Deeper than you could ever imagine. This is a few thoughts to reflect on as we continue on our journey. Ka kite no and God bless you on your journey.